Hi everyone, this video will demonstrate installing the SI2017 server. Now you can install the SI2017 server on any machine on your network. It could be a dedicated server, it could be a desktop machine. Now it could even be a laptop. Uh, generally though, if you're going to install the SI2017 server on a laptop, you want to make sure that that laptop doesn't get removed from your network, otherwise other users will not be able to access the SI2017 server when they're trying to work. Oftentimes, if we see the SI2017 server installed on a laptop, it's usually a single user who is both running the server and the client on the same machine. You can install the SI2017 server either from disk or you could do it from download. If you contact our support team, we can always send you a direct download for uh, the SI2017 installer. I'll go ahead and initiate the installer. This window will open and you will see instructions for how to install SI2017 if you click this link. Here you can download Visio 2016, which is optional. This is um, actually our trial install, which is why we're offering to download a trial. Uh, you can install the SI2017 server, the SI2017 client, and you can also go to support at dtools.com to get help. And in this video, we're going to focus on installing the server. So we're going to go ahead and click this option here. And that will open the server setup here. We'll go ahead and click Next. Uh, you're going to have to scroll down um, and, of course, read these in order to agree to them. And you can accept the terms of the agreement to install this. Hit Install. And this is going to go ahead and install uh, the SI2017 server. Now, if any prereqs were required, those would have been installed first. You'll have to walk through the little wizards that will pop up for each prereq. And then it will come back to this step here where you're going to be finished. And the next thing you need to do is to run the server configuration wizard by clicking this button here. And that will open the server configuration wizard. There are two options here, express or custom. We definitely recommend doing the express unless you have your own SQL instance already installed. Maybe you're running the full version of SQL and you'd like to attach our databases to that. Uh, but we do recommend the express unless you really know what you're doing, which will automatically download and install SQL 2012 Express uh, with a default configuration. And so that's what we're going to cover in this video. Um, however, if you want information on the custom configuration, you could find that in our user's guide, which is online. So I'm going to go ahead and click the express button here. And that will take you to this step where you're going to be setting up the default administrator username and password for SI. Um, the default is admin uh, for the username and for the password. If you'd like to change this, go ahead and do that. Just remember your password. You might want to write that down somewhere uh, unless it's a common password that you use. But here's the defaults, and for now, I'm going to leave mine as the default. And it does ask for an email address in case you forget your password. You can have it resent to you. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Uh, email address there, hit next. And this is just a summary of what's going to happen, uh, where the data folder is going to be the backup folder. And again, the express um, installation or the express configuration has all of these preset for you. So again, unless you have some personal preferences of where you want to store your data folder and your backup folder, we definitely recommend leaving these as the default and using the express uh, configuration. So go ahead and click next and the installation will take place. As I mentioned, um, I already have SQL 2012 Express installed. If I didn't, it would download and install that as part of this. It would take a little bit longer than what you're seeing here. But right now, uh, it's just simply installing my databases. And when it's done, you'll get a little message confirming that the configuration is complete. And there's the confirmation here. Go ahead and click Finish. And you have now successfully installed the SI2017 server.